based on the IG's understanding, there were approximately a dozen White House officials who listened to the call, a mixture of policy officials and duty officers in the White House Situation Room, as is customary. The officials I spoke with told me that participation in the call had not been restricted in advance because everyone expected it would be a routine call with a foreign leader. I do not know whether anyone was physically present with the president during that call. So, so take the dozen or so White House officials mm -hmm. and then take the people around Pompeo that knew about this. Take the people mm -hmm. around Barr right. that knew about this. Right. Take the people around the White House that knew about this. Take the people around Zelensky who knew this. Take the people around uh, everybody that's been involved yeah. in this. Suddenly, this little conspiracy expands. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's something that cannot be contained. And Barr knows he's on the hot seat now. He can play it cool if he wants to. But a $30,000 Christmas party at a Trump property is not going to protect him. Zelensky now his, has his own political problems at home. He's going to have to explain this as well. The Ukrainians are already getting out in front saying, hey, we knew that if we didn't play Trump, play ball with Trump, that we weren't going to get the military equipment, we weren't going to get the meetings. Jeez. This is something this that is the White House hard. cannot tamp we down on. Here, this we is have incredible. Power. The one thing that I find uh, you know, intriguing here, do they still have an electronic tape of the conversation that was used to get this transcript, which they've destroyed? They've destroyed the transcript. Do we still have somewhere in the White House warrants? Is there somewhere in presidential uh, recordings? This, this recording of this conversation, because I think in the end, that's what the Supreme Court's going to have to rule on, where the, where the Congress has a right to that recording. I still think it goes back to the president's words. You don't have to connect the dots. There's one big dot here. He cut a deal. He was trying to cut a deal with a foreign leader. I will give you security assistance. I will give you shoulder-mounted missiles that you can fight Russian tanks with right now. If you give me dirt on a political opponent, I would like nothing you to do here. us a favor. And though. White House officials, Mika, are already have already been talking about this. They are scrambling. To the Inspector you could General. see that in the White House yesterday. If you see nothing here, you're not telling the truth. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.